Well, Chris, outside of the undefeated Lafayette Rams, the hottest team in the Bay Rivers district the past several weeks has been the Grafton Clippers under second-year head coach Matt McLeod. Can they snap a six-game losing streak against the Pocosin Islanders? We check it out now here in this Bay Rivers district battle on a windy Saturday afternoon, chilly day as well. Both teams positioning themselves for the playoffs. Grafton in Group 4A, while Pocosin looking to enhance its seed in Group 3A. Yeah, Pocosin has been able to beat Grafton in the last three years. Grafton trying to end the slide right here. And the Islanders offensively have a dynamic attack, but they're led by their quarterback, as that's Trevor Dunigan. Making things happen, gets a block downfield, has finally wrestled out of bounds inside Grafton territory at the 45. Really stepping in well at quarterback for the injured Cole Jackson. They haven't missed a beat at all. And Ethan Bryce, a guy who's really been the workhorse running the football for the Islanders as he's got them marching down the field into Grafton territory. And this time he will finish it all with a 20-yard touchdown run. So with 7.22 to go in the first quarter, it's Pocosin on top. And we'll see if Grafton has a response as they trail by a touchdown, and we'll see the Grafton special teams have some difficulties as the catch is muffed inside the 10-yard line, falling at, at the five with Zach Lakefowler, and we'll see if the Grafton offense can recover. And as I found out in my youth, Chris, it's much harder to hang on to that football with the blustery conditions as we had in this one. And then it's, look at Ethan Bryce playing Superman for that Pocosin defense on a fumble recovery, 21 yards, running the football, getting it done on special teams and defense as Pocosin has the 12-point lead against that red-hot Grafton team. And now on offense, the Clippers trying to hang on to the football as Lech Thaler is bouncing off of guys like a pinball, and he's able to finally be brought down inside Pocosin territory at the 48-yard line. And the deep Harold Mary pass is going to be nearly intercepted, and Pocosin's defense trying to make a play, and we'll see if Bryce can do it as he's going to come from the blind side, force the fumble, and is going to pick it up and scurry 42 yards for the touchdown. This was on the final play of the half. With Pocosin with a 12-point advantage, they now make it 18. Just a bone-jarring hit there, and you see Pocosin really all over him with that defense. Jacob Calloway as well as Matthew Blazer on the back end breaking up passes. This is Grafton looking to show off some elusiveness here, but sometimes when you reverse field too much, it will not pay off. However, Grafton is going to able to get himself something out of nothing on that play. That might have been the finest five-yard run Aaron Leonard's ever had in his career at Grafton as the pass is going to be knocked away and great defensive play made again by the Islanders as they're looking to stuff Grafton and keep them out of the end zone, but Lech Thaler is going to find the end zone from six yards out. He scores Grafton on the board, trailing by a couple scores going into the final stanza. The rain began to fall, but that wouldn't completely slow down that Pocosin offense here as Dunigan completes a pass over the middle to move the chains, and that will just set up the rushing attack behind Ethan Bryce and company as this Pocosin offense really leaned on that offensive line and their size advantage late in the ballgame. Yeah, Brandon Peck made the reception and Bryce looking to add to the touchdown and he's going to be knocked down just shy of the goal line and doing again stumbling is able to give it to Bryce and Bryce falls in from a yard out for the touchdown run adding to the lead it's now 26 to 6 and Pocosin on the verge of taking the victory over Grafton in this one, but not just yet as the Clippers find some motivation on offense led by their quarterback, Jordan Ballow. Only a freshman, Ballow coming in at quarterback for the injured DJ Dobbins and doing well here late in the ball game as he connects with Adam King here, the junior for a pass completion. And then Ballow will hit him once. Once is nice, but twice is even better here. King here gets open in the back of the end zone for an 18 yard touchdown to bring the Clippers closer. Grafton not going away into that good night just yet, but they score one more. Unfortunately, they can't make it two more as Pocosin holds on for the seven-point victory over their rivals from Grafton, 26-19. Ethan Bryce, 21 carries, 142 yards, and two touchdowns rushing as the Islanders win for the seventh straight time over the Grafton Clippers.